Hey, what's up everybody? So I recently got this comment on a recent video right over here, how to uninstall Note Performer, right? And in the process of answering this comment, I realized it's not really all that straightforward how to do it. So all you need to do is jump into a new window, go to noteperformer.com, right? And here's how we're gonna get the actual way to do it, right? So I'm clicking on Sibelius right here and I'm just hitting, hitting Command F and going to uninstall and right there. Note Performer may be uninstalled by running uninstall noteperformer.command. So how do we get to this? This is kind of the big deal. Like where is library? What is application support? So this is where things get a little bit tricky. So what you want to do is go into Finder over here and then click Go up on the top. And then you can click on Computer. You can also see there's a key command there, uh, Shift-Command-C. Click on Computer. Click on Mac HD. Then you have, hey, look at that, there's a library. And then boom, right there, there's application support. And then click N to get right down to the N note performer and then uninstall note performer dot command. So what is this dot command? Essentially note performer or Volander, the company, they created a script for you to uh, uninstall the program instead of something that's a little bit more fleshed out, right? So at least they give it to us. They're not, you know, making it too crazy. Um, but, uh, but there you go. That's really all you need to do. Just double click this, just double click it. And then it runs this and it says, are you sure you want to proceed? And notice this, what this uh, opened up a command terminal and then you click yes, if you want to, then it's gonna run its whole thing. And you're probably gonna have to reset your computer after that. And that's that and done. That's literally all you have to do. And in order to uh, do it on PC, look at this, right? You do the same thing. You have to, oh man, I don't miss. I don't miss having Windows. So that is all I have for you today. I just wanted to give you a quick little tutorial to get you in the door to uninstall Note Performer if you really wanted to and you're just not happy. Or if you install the free trial, just decided not to buy and just like, I don't want this on my computer anymore. Now you know how to get there. Now, alternatively, if you do like Note Performer, but you don't always want to use it, you can switch off the instruments in Sibelius. All right, so here's just a project I've been working on. All you have to do, is just go to play, and then click on configuration and then you can choose what MIDI configuration you want or what sound set you want to play back for this specific piece. You don't have to fully uninstall it if you don't want to, but you can if you want to, now you know how. Thanks for being here. If you are totally happy with your recording and your MIDI and your sound setup, and you're just like, hey, I want more tips to write better melodies and write better music, check out my free video training, Seven Ways to Write a More Effective Melody. There's a link down in the doobly-doo. And if you want to get a free upgrade to Note Performer 4 proper, to if you already have Note Performer 3, they just came out with Note Performer 4 and they're updating it regularly. You can learn how to do that just by clicking the video that's popping up on your screen. Thanks so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I'm Avi, don't forget to be awesome.